Welcome back everyone, Mudford here. We've got 10 different oil filters sitting there on the table. We're going to do a little bit of testing on them and try to determine how they rank. We're going to judge them based on price, uh, the overall weight of the filter, rate them based on micron. We're also going to rate them on the square inches of filter. So I got a couple of different Fram ones here where I shop at. Seems like they have always have these. These are the basic filter. This is the next step up. It's supposed to be a little better. I also grabbed a mobile one. That's a pretty good name brand. The car that these fit is my wife's Ford Freestyle, which takes a pretty basic um, filter that's used for a lot of applications. A lot of Ford motors use it. It is the FL820S in Motorcraft. So I got it in Motorcraft to kind of show what the OE is. And I also grabbed a AC Delco so we can see what the um, GM version of OE, how good they are. And I thought I'd try a K&N. They seem to make good um, air filter products at least. And then this is an old one that we used to use a lot. I don't see them around quite as much anymore. They do have them in tractor supply I saw. The good old Purolator. And I thought I'd try STP. And Bosch is another good brand for a lot of things. And Wix. And Wix is also the um, Napa filter also. So you see those around quite a bit. So that's what we got. Let's go ahead to the first test. category I'm going to rate them by is the value and I just looked around online in local stores and found them pretty much as cheap as I could find them and that's what I went with you might have varying prices on those but that's what I found and there's quite a difference from 379 all the way to 1027 is number 10 so the first was the cheaper Fram Surprisingly, the second was the Motorcraft, and the third was the AC Delco. So we've got right there the OE ones. So that's pretty good. And then we go through STP, Purolator, Bosch, then the higher end Fram, Wix, and the highest was the K&N, not surprisingly. And next we'll go to the weight category. Okay, I've got the scale set up in grams. We're going to weigh each filter, see, rank them from lightest to heaviest. First one is the Fram Duragard. 317 grams. Next we have the Fram Ultra Synthetic. Quite a bit heavier. 438. Next we go to the Mobile One. 482. Now the Bosch. Three fifty six. K and N. Four eighty one. Pure later. Three fifty five. STP. 283. AC Delco. 384. Motorcraft. 367. And we got the Wix last. 373. So, really close are the mobile one in the K&N for the heaviest. Then we have your Fram better filter and right here we have the OE and then the Wix right together in the middle and then your Bosch, Pure Later and then your worst are your cheaper Fram 
in your STP for lightest. Okay, now for the fun part. We've got the weights on all of them. Now we're going to cut into them and see what's inside. What I'm going to do is just take a grinder wheel, cut them off right around here, pull the cover off, and we'll get a look at the, um, we'll get a good look at what they're made of. same thing with all 10 filters and then I'll show you where we're got them all tore apart now and had a good look at them at the filters you can see there's a lot of different types of media and you can see there's some fairly chintzy construction ones that's made out of cardboard it looks like on the um, cheaper frame a lot of metal ones and then you've got your anti-drain check valves and I I can't find the mobile one when I dropped it somewhere when I was cutting it apart. They are all very similar. They are different types of material. I don't see anything that's terrible there. The next thing we have is our pressure, like our pressure relief. So if the filter gets plugged, it's going to bypass the filter. We've got a few different types of those. This is the cheaper one. It's a spring and just a plastic valve here so once the oil pressure gets too high it's going to push this open and the oil will bypass the filter so your engine doesn't starve for oil. What it looks like is both of the uh, frames are the same whether it's the cheap one or the expensive one they look identical as far as that goes. So we got a couple like that, quite a few of them that are like this where it's where it's internal same type of deal but it's just internal built right into the metal here which seems a little bit better design if you ask me this is quite similar but this is more metal construction to it and this part is the spring right here that's in the Bosch so the overpressure valve in the OE's is very similar design built right in here you can kind of see the spring in there and it's gonna pop down and let the oil go through here you can kind of simulate this with a screwdriver so the pressure is gonna push this part down can't really too too well but it pushes the spring down against the spring it's open to let the oil through that passage so this is your drain back valve here, the outer part. I'm not sure how the inner part works. So it would have to lift this. It must be just let it bypass the filter also. Because the oil would go right through. But that this just seems kind of cheesy to me. That's the only one that's quite a bit different. Then the other part you have is you have what holds the filter up to the threaded part. A lot of them have just some tin in there with or without the check valve. This is what holds the filter it's a cartridge up tight to the, to the threaded portion. And this looks like the best one to me. This has a really heavy spring. This is on the K&N. And the Wix also has a spring, but not quite as heavy. The next way I rated the filters is right there. It is just the overall construction quality. I didn't really take into specifics anything on the filter itself, just like the materials and how the pressure relief valve worked overall quality of them and I just ranked them in order I gave the lowest grade to would be the STP because basically this is very wimpy it's almost like paper here this was on the ends 
and not even a lot of glue used to glue the filter element to it. The inside was plastic, and I think that was the only one that was plastic. The Fram PH series filter wasn't a lot better. It was cardboard. It's cardboard. They used a little bit more glue to hold the element on, and the inside was really thin, tin. You can see how flexible it is. So I rank the K&N as the best. You can see it's a really sturdy, heavy-duty element. And here's the overpressurization valve. Looks pretty good. It looks like there's a rubber rubber flap in there. It's a pretty beefy little spring in there. Looks pretty good. Everything on the K&N looked good. And the Wix really wasn't far behind. And I don't think you can go wrong with the OEM ones either. Right. The, uh, the AC Delco and the Motocraft pretty high too. They're go both good quality filters. My next step is going to be to do as best I can. I'm going to cut the filters apart. And what I want to do is get this, i got to cut this side, get it all unattached, and spread this out and find the total surface area of the filter media. And the paper is accordion to get more surface area, so I need to stretch it out. So I just have a clamp and a block, and then I'm stretching the paper out and getting the a good length reading. This is the Fram PH2. And it stretches out to 50 and a half inches. And we're going to give it an even 3 inches for the width. Now I'm just going to take that filter out and just do the exact same thing with the other nine. Okay, I got all of the filter paper measured and we got our results from our square inches of surface area. There were a couple surprises. The Fram pH, I wasn't really surprised that that had the lowest. And the K&N, I wasn't surprised at all that that had the most. I was surprised with the Bosch being second uh, I was surprised that the Wix didn't do better, and I was really surprised with the OEs. They had very similar numbers, and I just expected them to be higher. So here's the story with the next row on the chart. I was doing some research on oil filter microns and efficiency, which should be fairly simple, but it turns out it's just a can of worms, a rabbit hole, if you've got a bunch of free time, go ahead and look that up on the internet and you'll find all sorts of different answers, different testing methods. It's really hard to compare apples to apples. Some companies use different tests. Some companies will not even tell you how they come up with their rating. I would say they're probably all 10 of them are roughly within the 20 to 25 micron rating. But then they have the efficiency anywhere from 80 to 99% and a lot of bogus made up stuff with that. So we're just going to cross that right off. Coming in in 10th place is the Fram PH2. It got a high rating for price because it is the cheapest. Second to lightest for surface area. Also gave it second to last place for overall quality. I still wouldn't say it's a, a terrible filter. I've used them lots of times they're a cheap filter I don't think I would use it in like a high performance application coming in ninth place the SDP S2 was not impressed with this at all this is some 
type of paper holding it together, not even glued very good. Plastic center section. Appears to be a rubber anti-backflow valve. Don't see these for sale around where I live, and I probably won't buy them. Just didn't see anything redeeming about this filter at all. Next we have a tie for 7th place, and that is the Purolator 1 PL24651 and the Fram XG2. I think both of these are good filters. I wouldn't hesitate to use either of them. They're priced similar. Just pretty good construction, I would say, for both filters. I think the Fram is actually a little bit better, in my opinion. Uh, I think the filter material is probably a little bit better. This is a synthetic and the Pure Later is paper, but overall I'd say very similar for quality. Finishing in 6th place is the Bosch 3410. Overall a good filter. The biggest plus for this filter was it had a lot of uh, number 2 out of my 10 for total surface area of filter media. Coming in 5th place in our test is the Wix 51372. Place middle in the pack with most things. It was a little higher priced. Coming in 4th I have the Motorcraft and 3rd the AC Delco. I don't think you can go wrong with the OEs. Quality seems good, although both seem to be quite similar. Just about every aspect. Second place, we have the Mobile One M1-210A. Real strong, real quality filter. It was the heaviest of the 10. Came in third place for the amount of filter media. I don't remember installing a Mobile One filter before, but hesitate now. And coming in first place, the big winner of this competition, the K&N S-2010. This was the clear winner. The only bad mark I really gave it was for the cost. It was the most expensive one, but it wasn't ridiculously higher than the other filters. Uh, it came in first place for the square inches of filter media. It came in second place for the weight of the filter place for the overall construction quality. It just seems to be well built. For a fact, when I do the oil change on the Mustang, I'm on switching over to the K&N filter.